right, who's ready for Vape Jam UK All the Public Days? This next video is gonna be All the Public Days. And also, side note, Matias bought a Lustro mod and he can't figure out how to change the color and I was like, oh, let me see that. I can do that. I reviewed that device and I, and I don't remember how to change the color and then I went back and watched my own video and I didn't even explain how to do it. And so now I'm reevaluating all of my reviews that I've ever shot. But I'm gonna figure this thing out. Anyway, let's do some more Vape Jam UK stuff. What's up guys? We're here with uh, the Vaguely Vaping Related Podcast out of the UK. They do a podcast and uh, I mean I haven't heard it so I can't say you know if it's good or not. But you should definitely check it out. Yes, right? Yes. Yeah, JK. You should definitely check it out. Uh, we're going to do an interview with them and it's going to be on their podcast and you can listen to it. And if, you wanna, if you want to find us, it's uh, on SoundCloud. Uh, SoundCloud the VVRP. The VVRP. The VVRP. I like that. You have better uh, initials in the culture of clouds. Yeah, ours is hot. Yeah, ours is hot. Yeah. <laughs> That's what ours is. You, you have good ones. <laughs> Look at, let's talk about this mod you got here. This is Star Trek Communicator, homemade by a modder in the UK. Who made this? His name's uh, Craig. Craig Nichols. Craig, Craig Nichols yeah. made this out of a Star Trek communicator toy, just, you know, as a one-off for him. Yeah. Because, because Star Trek. Because Star Trek. Star obviously. Trek. Star oh, Trek. yeah, obviously. <laughs> obviously. That's just really cool. I think that's really cool. And I want to show you my Boglin later as well. I got a Boglin. You guys remember Boglins? Oh, yeah, Boglins. Boglins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Boglins on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. You were talking and about nobody Boglins. believed that they were real. Yeah. Ruby's like, that doesn't it. sound real. I'm talking, I'm said, talking no. back to the podcast going, yes, they're real. Yeah, they're real. Yeah. And I got one, and I want to talk about it. We're here with Stu. Look what Stu got for me. Are you kidding me? Guardian Leviosa. You got me a Harry Potter wand. I've always wanted a pawn. wand. This is the wand I wanted. And he just got it for me as a birthday gift. This guy. This guy. I can't thank you enough. No problem. I love it. Alright, you guys. Sorry, it's loud. It's a, it's a vape show. It's just really loud. I'm going to try to go to somewhere less loud. Maybe I can kind of... trying to find somewhere quiet, you know, to, to talk. The loudspeaker's going, you know? But here, let's let's post up by Flawless. We'll stand back to back to Flawless. Um, so last night, uh, for my birthday, we were hanging out with Matthias from Beyond Vape, uh, Sweden, and his crew had a pod system that they let me try, and I instantly thought, this is one of the best pod systems I've ever tried. And so I went over to them, to, you know, get one because I thought I'm not, I wanted to buy it. For the record, I wanted to buy it. I thought I'm not leaving Vape Jam without one of these pod systems and it's called the Zoor. Z-O-O-R. And it's weighty and it feels real nice in your hand. It feels like something fancy. It kind of feels like, you know, what you would open your Tesla with. It feels very techy and cool. They're pre-filled pods, so you have to use their flavors, but the vape experience, the mouth to lung satisfaction that I get from this pod, I have not experienced before. It's unbelievable. 
beautiful. The flavor is beautiful. You get copious amounts of vapor. The draw is very stiff and it's non-adjustable. It's a very, very stiff draw, but both me and Ruby Roo were just blown away by how good this vapes. The green apple flavor in particular is beautiful. It's a beautiful flavor. I'm using the mint right now, but this is kind of all I've been vaping all day long. I, I can't explain it. You, you, you just have to try it to believe it because it's so good. Anyway, I wanted to throw this in there, the Zor, Z-O-O-R. We're gonna go a lot more in depth with this a little bit later on after I've used it more. So now that that's over, I guess we can just jump back into the chaos that is Vape Expo UK. Cat, cat, whoa, cat, whoa, 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 wait, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. How do you feel today? Dude, I feel like a million things that are tired a little. One of my favorite things about vape events is coming here, talking to people, meeting people. Uh, I picked up some new vapey stuff. I got a, I got a toy, I got a Boglin, which you're gonna hear all about later. And it's unbelievable. And a cheer bear. Ruby Roo got a cheer bear. Look, if you don't listen to the podcast, you should definitely listen to the Culture of Clouds podcast. You know it. Because both of these things relate directly to the podcast yes. and I can't wait to talk about them. Boglins are real and I can prove it. Uh, yeah. I wanted to introduce you guys to Carl. Carl is the creator of the Dangle Clax LED light that I have in the background of all my videos. It's one of my most prized possessions. I love this thing. He made it. You saw earlier in the video, he got me a gift of a Boglin. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, we've got, Kent's commenting on my bad breath, which is fine, thank you Kent. But uh, it's 11.15 uh, in the morning, and we are rushing over to our panel, which starts at 1.30, so. 11.30. 11.30, what did I say? 1.30. I said everything wrong. So our panel starts at uh, 11.30, so we basically have like 15 minutes. It's no big deal. We're gonna get there with plenty of time, right Kent? We're gonna be three or four minutes late when we walk in the door. You think we're gonna be three or four minutes late? This is my job. No, it's not really my job at all. <laughs> it's your job to be on the cover of a magazine. That's your new job. <laughs> that was a one-time <laughs> thing. Okay, look, there's been so, unless there's, there's been other so magazines out there that want to put me on it. There's I, I might. Many, <laughs> there's been so much Kent in this blog. Do you have any idea how much Kent is in this blog? Me? The majority of it. Yeah, I know. This could be your YouTube channel. That's the plan, Nick. <laughs> yeah. The, just a slow takeover. Yes, not just a slow takeover. Oh, a slow build-up. To the point where you're like, oh, I just don't know if I could do this YouTube anymore because I'm planting the ideas, you know. For slowly. me to give up? Not give up completely because see how I'm like the uh, <laughs> cohort here? I'm going to need one of those people, Nick, once I take over your channel. Oh. So you're going to take my spot. Oh, okay. See, we're just going to so trade. So I'm going to be your sidekick and you're going to become Groom Green. Yeah. That's why, that's why I haven't started my own YouTube, because I'm just like, you know what, Nick has a great one. I'm slowly just going to take <laughs> his over. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, that's really good to know. <laughs> Alright, no more Kent at all. <laughs> no Kents. Zero Kent from now on. No Kent. Have you ever been hypnotized, Nick? By the... Oh, <laughs> you don't think you have, huh? Oh! <laughs> no, <let's stop> it. <laughs>
Okay, wow. Yeah. Shout out to the guy that gave me this as a birthday gift, an original pressing picture disc of Metallica's Master of Puppets. Yeah, it's Are actually, you kidding me? It's a Van Halen, Van Halen underneath here. Even Van Halen is still awesome. You know? You should have said Kesha. I wasn't trying to be mean. <laughs> How did the panel go? Oh, awesome. Awesome, great. Pretty mods. Pretty mods from the Philippines. Oh, cool. I just want to take pictures of them all the time. Oh, Look how yeah. Pretty those are. Those are amazing. Look at that. Very beautiful. Yeah. Is this thing on? Nick, edit this out of the vlog. Seeing the donut, I'm not sure why Ken's filming me. Get it, get it, Nick. Get all of it. Get that donut. sweetest guy to me when I first met him, and he's been that way ever since. And I've always said... What the fuck? You're trying to make me jealous now? I mean, what the hell is not? Dude. Fucking... You know, it's not the I'm your man. Don't worry about it. Uh, so I always said, like, I really, really want to just, like, sit down with him. And not, like, actually talk about vaping. Just sit down and hang out with him and have an idea. I think he likes those IP interviews. Yeah. I don't do that. I just do shots. I don't waste time. There's no, there's no time wasted. But, uh, Nick, for everything that you've done in the industry, for as long as you've been in the I appreciate you, man. Keep doing what you do. Thank you. Pretty cool. Alright, so this branding is not my favorite branding, you guys. Pods everywhere over Can here. I see how my hair so looks many me pods. Oh my! Oh, stop it, Ken. Oh, Grim Grim Me Pod. All right. Like, so it was my birthday on April 6th. It's Amir's birthday tomorrow. April 11th. April 11th. Wednesday. And, and we're the same age. This is, why, this is why it works so well. This is why it works so well. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, absolutely. You guys know Smoking Mermaid. She's on Instagram. She does the vape things and the the bait things and the me pod things. She loves the me pod. Yeah, and because it's awesome. Yeah. Check out Smoking Mermaid on Instagram. I'll put a link in the description. Yeah, yeah. Are you ready to get out of here, Kit? Uh, I'm I'm willing to say no. What? You just told me you wanted to leave. I know, but then we changed the subject about saying no to people. Oh. You heard of Nick, and so now you're you saying no. Okay, fine. No, I want to leave. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for us to uh, to leave this event. I gotta go record a podcast. So yeah, we're we're basically all done with the event. I'm back in my hotel room, but I wanted to show you guys that pod system again. I know it was real loud and we were over by Flawless and I was talking about that pod system, but I really wanted to talk about it again because it's so great. So this is it. It's called the Zoor. Z-O-O-R. Or if you're British, that's a Z-O-O-R. But it's called the Zoor and it's, there's not really gonna be a lot to talk about. I do wanna give this like a full review after I use it for a while, like see how long the pods last and stuff like that, but it's USB charge on the bottom. It's weighty. It's like a weighty thing. It feels like, I, I think I said this before, but it feels like like a Tesla, like a key fob or something like that. Like a really 
fancy kind of high-end thing even though I don't think this is like a high-end product but it feels very high-end it does use pre-filled pod this is the mint pod there's a tobacco pod that's not great a strawberry pod that's very good and then an apple pod like a green apple pod that is just beautiful beautifully delicious pod got that very tight 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 airflow but it's such a beautiful vape and you know honestly pictures aren't going to do this justice a video isn't going to do this justice what does this justice is the vape experience that you get from it and i don't think you can really do that unless you experience it i can describe it as best i can but really until you try it until you until you feel that vapor and flavor in your mouth you just uh you just you just you just can't explain it. It's just really good. I hope to get some more information about this. I had never heard of this company before. Uh, I didn't even see their booth. One of one of our Swedish friends that came over from Sweden had one, and I said, where can I get that? And he's like, no, there's none left, which I refused to believe. So he took me over to the vendor, and we were talking, and I said, yeah, I, I've tried this pod. It, it's crazy. I, I need as many as I can. I just put out money and said, how many can I take? And I got... One, I need to get more pods. I need to figure out how to get more pods of this as soon as I can. But yeah, uh, we're done here at the event. Um, Ruby and I are going to podcast today, so yeah, you never know. I don't think this video's over quite yet. Yeah, that was, nah. No, it's good. It's good, that's good lighting. Better, worse. How about? Yeah, creepy and warm. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm here with, uh, you know, you know, we all, we know Ruby Roo. She's that one girl, we call her Ruby Roo. What's up, um, The event's over for us. Yeah. And the event's over soon. Um, we're just gonna sit here and, and podcast. Yep. And uh, that's what we do. Mm -hmm. That's what we podcast. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna do it now. Mm -hmm. You can find us on culturecloud.com. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> How come I have the wavy lines? What's wavy lines? Do you see the wavy lines happening? I think it's like in your setting. Anyway, we're, the, we're done with Vape Jam UK. It's been an amazing time, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Do you have a lot of fun? Oh, yeah. Had a we great had to, time. Josh, get in oh, the yeah. frame. Get also, in, get Josh in. is awesome here. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hanging out with Josh and Ruby. We're closing it down for the last oh, night. We're closing you know. it down, you guys. It's bedtime. Peace out. It's time for bed. Good night from London. <laughs> <laughs> Tally ho. Jolly old London city with the queen. I promise. That was the last of the British accent. Yeah, it's bad. <laughs> Unless I hang out with Dean the vaping biker. Yeah. Then and more. All bets are off. Mm. Okay, good night, finally.